Yo, my nigga, you sweating on this game, man. Get the fuck off. Go outside and make some friends. You on the game too much, cuz. You're level 300, level 400 ass. You got a nuclear and shit in the dark, man. You play the game too much, my nigga. Get the fuck off. What's up, man? Get your dicks up. Get your dicks up. Yeah, what is going on guys, welcome back to another video over on the Tasty Sun. Today what I have for you guys is episode 5 of Nuclear with Every Gun and it is thematic to last assault rifle for this series. We're gonna do them all the next time we have some machine guns and they're starting in a couple days from now. I think I have my stats number 400 stat video coming out tomorrow, so make sure to go check that out. And then as well we have the my level 500 stats coming soon as well. I'm not saying I'm about to be level 500, but I might be like 40 levels away at the time I'm recording this commentary. So guys, enjoy the game, play the background, I'm playing some PowerPoint on the map fringe, I'm playing solo. And I also want to say really quick, because I've seen some people comment on my other videos, I'll just try Strike teams still count towards your nuke. No, they don't. I'm using strike team with this gameplay, and they are they're counting towards the nuclear because my dad works at Treyarch and he did some stuff. Nah, I'm just kidding. This gameplay is weeks old, as I said. I have been stacking up gameplays, and I'm pretty much ready to go for a while, and they're, most of them are with strike team as well. But as I said in my previous episode, that I'm in some of the gameplays, I'm maxing out my dark matter and stuff, so I would have gotten the nuke either way. I'm not gonna go and get some of the nukes back because I've already been grinding for it for this series so I can have like videos for a while. It's not like I'm gonna get those nukes again just without strike team. I don't really care that much. I mean what I'm gonna say, a nuke is a nuke. And um, oh well let's get right into the time. Today I actually wanna share my class that I'm using this game. And this is a class I've been using the entire time with Maddox pretty much. So the, the standard attachments I always have on my Maddox is Quake Drill, Quake Drill and Stunk. So you can have Quake Drill 2 on it, which I think gives you a really, really good advantage in some gunfights because obviously you can aim way faster than pretty much every other gun in the game. And that just makes you, you're able to like shoot first in most gunfights. You just gotta hit your shots and you win. Half of you close range gunfights and medium range gunfights and stuff. And that's, I've been using that the entire time. I don't really feel like you need fast max on the gun. I mean, you can if you want to, but I've been using Quake Drill 2 just for that reason alone. And I don't leave the gun, so not even quick though on the gun, and that's been a problem for me. Um, I, there is a gun, the Cordite, I like that a lot, but there is a problem because you cannot have quick though on it. And it's aiming so slow, and it's a submachine gun. And I'm kind of, I miss quick though on some guns in the game, which they're like, kind of hard to use, not hard in a way. But you have a disadvantage going into almost every gunfight. If you're if you're up against someone that has quick draw in their gun, if you're up against a Maddox with quick draw too, you're most likely gonna use that gunfight if you don't have quick draw at all. So that that's one thing I don't really like about this game. We had the level two attachments like grip two, which gives you no recoil at all. We had quick draw two, which basically you're aiming in in literally no time. Um, high caliber 2 that is like a 2 shot in the head or something, 1 shot in the head, I don't even know. They kind of need to fix that. I wish you had the same attachments for like, the soul if I had the exact same attachments. Cause I would love to just quit doing the gun that cool that. But I just can't, and that's why I don't really use it that much anymore. Because if I use another sub machine, I could use the song, I could use the Spitfire, and I would have quit on those guns, and I would have more advantage in every single gunfight almost. I would win more just because of that reason alone, just because I have the quick no attachment on. But yeah, not about that. That is one reason I like the Maddox more, and that's why you can use it as a submachine gun. So I always have a side of my Maddox as well. Um, I usually be using Elo, but they have been using Red Dot as well. Um, it's kind of what you prefer, I guess. I mean, if you want to use Elo, use Elo. If you better with a Red Dot, you go with Red Dot. It doesn't even matter. Either sides are good to use. I mean, that's completely up to you what you want to use. And then I am using my standard perks, I'm using scavenger, I'm using lightweight, and I'm using ghost. I'm using that on almost every single gun in the game, almost every class setup. If I had to take away a perk, I'm always taking away lightweight. I mean, I always almost have scavenger and I almost always have ghost on. 
and that is pretty much it's not a must but there is a most too important for it's my setup i would say it's not like you need scavenger because i'm using crash most of the time so i can just drop aim with myself every like minute or two minutes or something but yeah that's pretty much it for today guys i hope really hope you guys enjoy make sure to drop like subscribe if you're new that would be much appreciated so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one